Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video. So I've got a basket of products that are completely empty and I've finished and I just thought I would go through them, give you a little review. It's a perfect way to share my opinion about products because obviously they are all empty so they're all used up. I got this idea from Leanne from Leanne's Beauty Blog. I will leave her channel link below because she makes amazing beauty content um, and I thought I'd give it a go. So I've been gathering these products in this tub for quite a while now. Um, it's definitely probably not all of the products I've used up because there's probably ones that I forgot to keep um, but I do have a good selection. I've also got a few items to talk about um, as replacements for maybe some of the ones I didn't like um, or some to show you that I actually went and re-bought them. Just as a little disclaimer, um, I am a Body Shop at Home consultant. A lot of these products are from the Body Shop. So when it comes to Body Shop, I only promote products that I genuinely love and I do give my honest opinions about them. So these opinions are obviously not biased, um, but that was just obviously a little disclaimer that I wanted to mention. We'll also leave some links below if you're interested in joining my Body Shop at Home Facebook group for offers and games or a link to sign up if you're interested yourself. So I'm just going to get straight into it and I'm just going to pull the items out at random and the first one that I've picked out is the Body Shop Camel Butter. Now I cannot recommend this enough. This is a makeup remover and it is amazing. It's quick, it's easy and it's gentle. I've got sensitive skin usually when I use any makeup removers or wipes and things like that um, I get red patches on my eyes because obviously the products have affected my skin. I don't have the issue with this and it is honestly like I said so quick and easy. You just add a little bit to your fingers, rub it in, apply it to the face and it melts off makeup and then all you have to do is wipe it off with a flannel so i 100 percent recommend this i've used it up it's not my first tin i've had i've actually just done a body shop order um which i received today and i've actually bought the mini version um so they bought out a travel size version of it this year um of course i would use a full tin again i just thought i would get a small one for reference because obviously when i'm promoting it in the group i have mentioned that you can get two sizes so now i've got the other one that i can talk about the next product i have is the strawberry shower gel now leanne actually mentioned this in her video because i gifted her um the strawberry shower gel and body yogurt and her opinion was good so I'm really happy about that and it is one of my personal favorites as well I love the shower gels they also double up as amazing bath bubble and um, so make lots of amazing scented bubbles in your bath and obviously it is just a shower gel so really happy with that um, it lasted a really long time as well and it is one of my favorite scents I wasn't going to do a theme I think I might stick to all body shop products first and then go on to do the random ones the next thing I have is the banana shampoo the banana range from the body shop is my go-to hair care range because it's really good for dry and damaged hair which is what I've got it also helps to bring out natural curls if you've got curly hair so I would definitely recommend that I also had it in the conditioner and the hair mask the hair mask I've still got in the bathroom uh, but the shampoo and conditioner have run out so I am going to repurchase those if you follow me on Instagram or you're in my body shop group, you will know how much I rave about this product. This is the Vitamin C Daily Glow Cleansing Polish and I could not recommend it enough. Best cleanser I've ever had. I know this is going to sound obvious, but honestly, my skin feels so clean after using it. And it's not a feeling I get after all cleansers. Um, it's a vitamin C range, which means it's perfect for dull, tired skin, which is something I have. So it really does give me a glow on a morning after using it. Um, and yeah, it just makes my skin feel really nice and look healthy. And I have since repurchased this one, of course. Following on from that, I also had the Vitamin C Moisturiser which again, a product I couldn't recommend enough. It was like a gel-like formula, um, so it was super lightweight. It sunk into the skin really, really quickly. And again, it gives my skin a really lovely, healthy glow. Now, I didn't repurchase this purely because it was out of stock. And I have been using a cheaper version from Boots, um, which I do like, but I definitely still prefer this one. So 
Once it's back in stock, I'm going to be popping that in my basket. Next up, I've got two face masks. I'm starting off with the Coffee Awakening Mask. These are the expert masks, so they come in tubs, which are 75 ml. They do smaller ones, mini masks, which are really good if you're wanting to test something out. Um, but I do like to just get the big ones because I know I love the products. The coffee mask smells amazing. I'm a big fan of coffee, so I knew I was going to like this. I personally used it a lot under my eyes, um, just obviously to awake can me up a little bit on a morning especially after doing night shifts and things um, but I did also use it all over my face when I was feeling particularly tired it was also warming and yeah just give my skin a really nice glow after using it and the second one is the Himalayan charcoal um, this one is a big hit with my customers and also with me personally the charcoal mask is really really good if you've got impurities like blackheads I personally tend to use it on my nose and chin it draws out them impurities and honestly I see a big difference after using it I tend to use it once a week and every week that I use it I definitely see that I've got less impurities in the places that I use it so definitely would recommend this it would also be suitable if you've got oily skin and wanted to tone down some of that excess oil um, because it is quite purifying and yeah I would definitely recommend that to do a facial wash in this range which is really good if you're wanting to stick to that range. Next product I have is from the hemp range and this is the hemp hydrating and protecting shower oil. The hemp range is really good if you've got ultra dry skin. Um, I know that some people use it with skin conditions. I personally have eczema which is actually really bad at the minute. I mean you probably can't see it but I'm having a really bad flare up and I'm so annoyed that I've run out of this because this would be my go-to. Um, I would use it on my skin. It's very gentle and hydrating and it would always, always um, calm down my flare ups. So it's just a lovely product because of how hydrating it is. My skin always feels so smooth and moisturized after using it almost as if I wouldn't even need to moisturize my body. It's definitely a product I'm going to repurchase. I'm really annoyed that I've run out of it, um, but as soon as I make my next order, that is going to be going on the list. Another range of products from the body shop that I love are their bath products. So their bath bombs and their bath bubbles, even their bath blends, but I haven't run out of any of those yet because I did get all four. So it'll probably take me a while to get through them. Um, so this is one of the bath bombs that I use. It is the green tea bath bomb. Um, the bath bombs are now completely sold out. They don't do them anymore, but they still do the bath bubbles, which is still really good. Generate lots of amazing bubbles in your bath um, and they are available in coconut, grapefruit and moringa which is like a floral scent but I did use this one while I had one left and it made the water a gorgeous green colour it was very relaxing and calming and yeah really cheap as well which is amazing and relating to that I have the empty packet of a Festive Berry Starry Bath Bomb. This was one of their new Christmas release products. I actually got a pack of 16 because they were only selling them to consultants in a pack just like they would to the shop. So I don't think they're available online. So I bought 16 of them and obviously used one myself. I've still got quite a few left if anybody wants to buy one. And I do have one to show because although I've already used one, of course, I've still got some left over. So this is starry bath bomb said the other bath bomb range from the body shop they stopped doing for christmas they've brought out three bath bombs in their festive scents which are festive berry winter jasmine and warm vanilla and again i couldn't recommend it enough it smells so good it made the water a really gorgeous red color which is perfect for this time of year if you're in the christmas spirit which i know i am um and yeah it was just a really lovely bath bomb like i mentioned i've got sensitive skin and i've got eczema and i don't find that the bath products flare that up at all so definitely something to try out if you are cautious of that too next up i've got two foundation bottles they are the exact same foundation because i've already used two of them and I've recently just received another one um, because I obviously ran out. This is my favourite foundation. I've been using it for about a year and a half now, um, since before becoming a body shop at home consultant. And again, couldn't recommend it enough. Fresh Nude Foundation is a dewy formula. So if you've got dry skin, it's very moisturising and hydrating. It gives you a healthy glow um, and doesn't dry 
on your skin so if you get dry patches um this would be a really good product to try i got it in the bora bora shade which is one of the lighter shades i would say that their range of shades are really good and i always struggle to find foundations to match my skin tone because i've got very pale skin but it's also slightly yellow toned and usually if i get a light foundation it's either too pink or it's too dark um, so I've been using these and the last body shop product that I have to show you is the brow sculpt three in one so this is amazing it's got three different applicators it's got a mascara it's got a pencil and it's got a powder and um, I've actually used this today because yet again it's a product I've rebought and um, again cannot live without it it is my favorite brow product especially with it having the three applicators you can achieve a lot of different looks if you're wanting something a little bit more natural or want to go for something more bold it's available in three colors and um, so it's light medium and dark and i am using the dark one so again a product that i would definitely recommend now i'm on to the non body shop products so the first thing that i'm starting with is a product that i got last christmas in a gift set and it is the fern cotton happy place sleep relaxing pillow mist so pillow mist is something that i live by and um, i generally do believe that they help me sleep longer and better so that's something that i knew i was going to like um, i haven't rebought really it because obviously they come in gift sets for christmas um, and other than that i don't think they're available i do however have on my bedside table at the minute as you can see in the background i have the body shops version which they brought out in summer which i love just as much as i love this one if anything, I do have to say I think I prefer the Body Shop one just because the scent is a little bit less powerful and I'm not actually a fan of lavender. I do obviously use it because it helps me sleep, but it's not my favourite scent. Next, I've got another makeup product. This is the Thick and Fast Mascara from Soap and Glory. Um, this has been something that I've had multiple of um, and I really, really rate this mascara. I think amazing for achieving long and thick lashes. Um, I don't know if I'd buy it again just because I have found a body shop version that I prefer more. Um, I think that's a bit of a theme at the minute. That's just the way it is. So I actually use the Lash Hero from the body shop, um, but I do really, really rate this mascara too. Next, I've got another shampoo and this is the Provoke Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo. I started using this in summer when I dyed my hair, or should I say bleached my hair at home. Bad, bad decision. It went orange. Um, so I used a toner and then what I used to do once a week is use this purple shampoo. As you can see, I've no longer got blonde hair, but I thought I'd still include it because it helped to lighten uh, my hair and make it look a little bit less brassy. But I did actually also buy the Lush purple shampoo and I did prefer that because it was a little bit more hydrating and that is something I still got some left of, which is in the bathroom. So if I am ever to bleach my hair again, I know that I've got that there to save me. And talking about Lush, I've got a little Lush packet um, and I think this was from a bath oil so I was really sad to see that they were actually discontinuing the bath oils I don't know if any is still remaining but the bath oils have always been one of my favourite Lush products because it honestly leaves my skin so so smooth and hydrated i really really love them um so i'm really sad that um they aren't available anymore but i did use one and of course i would give it a 10 out of 10 because i love them if you were a fan of these bath oils and you're also sad to see them go i would recommend looking at the lush scrubby which is something you use more so like in the shower and it does have an exfoliate inside but afterwards my skin feels that same level of softness and moisturise that it did for the bath oils. But lastly, I have some sheet masks. I am quite a big fan of sheet masks because obviously they're quick, easy and mess free. I've also developed a little bit of a habit of doing a sheet mask at work on my second night shift, just as a little pick me up and like self care um, activity. And these are some that I've used recently. So I've got the Sharky Facial Sheet Mask, which is from the brand Sense, and I picked that up from Home Bargains. I did like that, but I do feel like the mask was a little bit too wet and heavy um, on my face. So I don't think I'd buy that again. Um, next, we've got the Watermelon Hydrating Sheet Mask. This was so funny because I didn't actually realise that this was the print on the mask. So I definitely looked a bit scary. Um, but that was really hydrating and it also smelt nice. 
I then have a simple hydrating mask. This was a water boost, so again, very hydrating. And I did enjoy using that one. My skin felt very soft and hydrated afterwards. And last but not least, I have the Garnier Vitamin C Shot. So this was quite interesting because it came with the sheet and then the liquid and you actually put the sheet into the liquid yourself so it's a bit of like a DIY one um, and I did really enjoy this but it is vitamin C and I would say I prefer the vitamin C sheet mask from the body shop which is also biodegradable as well um, so I don't think I'd probably buy this one again just because I prefer the other one that is everything that's all my empties that i've gathered over the last couple of weeks maybe even months um i definitely think i'm going to do more of these because i think it's quite fun to show you what i've been using and it's obviously like i said at the start a really good chance to review products properly after you've used the entire product um i might also include some different variations of items next time such as maybe like homeware like candles or cleaning products maybe some food items and um, so do let me know if you'd be interested in that and like i said i will leave leanne's channel below as well